Hey everyone, this is Chris Keys for Premier Guitar, and I have the pleasure to introduce one of my heroes, the country western troubadour, Unknown Hinson. How you doing, Unknown? Hey Chris, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. I'm doing well. Um, well, first of all, this is a rig rundown, so we want to talk to you about your guitar, and you have a signature model through Reverend, so talk to us about that. Well, this guitar is very similar to the uh, Reverend Club King 290 guitar. If you're familiar with Reverend 290 Club Kings, at the 290 P90 pickups. Uh, this one comes in black. All, it's the only color it comes in. It's got uh, two pickups, of course. Got the treble pickup, middle selector, bass pickup, and your bass contour roll-on, roll-off knob there. Master volume, master tone control. Maple neck. It's got my signature on the pick guard. Got your bat lays on the inlays on the fretboard. It's got the lockdown tuna machines. Very light, very light. And a uh, semi-hollow body right here, got a little chamber in the body. Real good sustain. Give you good sustaining sound on clean tones and overdrive tones. Plays really, really good. I was going to ask you, since it's, uh, Reverend's known for the bass uh, contour knob, how do you like to use it for what, you know, the style of music that you play when you perform and record? What do you typically use it for? Well, depending on the room, sometimes rooms are real bright, you know, just because they, they might have more wood in them or something like that. And uh, you can roll on a little bit of bass where needed, whereas you don't have to really adjust your amp that much, you know. So it's real nice to have that, to beef it up a little bit or roll it back instead of walking back to your amp to do all the adjustments, you know what I mean? Very convenient. And uh, you also have another one on stage, and we'll get, we'll get a shot of that too, Is but it has the, the maple headstock. Yeah. And that's the only thing that's different about that one too, right? Both identical, except the other one has, a, like you said, a blonde headstock. It has exactly the same equipment, electronics, everything. What do you, what do you prefer about the P90 pickups per, you know, versus uh, single coils or even humbuckers? Well, they don't buzz like single coils, and uh, they will twang. Whereas humbuckers, you know, for me, I could never get a twang sound out of the humbucker pickup. And I love them, don't get me wrong. But I do a lot of twang, clean tones, and these will twang, and they will get fat for overdrive kind of your rock and roll sounds too if you need that but yeah it's just real versatile you know i love single coil pickups the sound of them but they can be real thin then again if you're using humbucking pickups they can be how should we say one dimensional yeah. you know for rock tunes and jazz and things like that but they will not twang it's really hard to get them to twang for like chicken pick and yeah. country stuff like that you know but this is kind of like the best of both worlds, the P90 pickups for me. It, for me, anyway. And uh, what about for the amps you got on stage tonight? What are you using? I'm using all Fender amplification. And I uh, recently was endorsed by Fender. I'm using the brand new uh, Supersonic 100 all tube head, channel switching head. And it, it is a monster. It's the best guitar amplifier I've ever played through in my life. I grew up with Fender when I was a boy. And I've come full circle back to them because they make the best guitar amps I've ever played. For what I do, which is kind of, if you're familiar with me, I go from knockdown, drag out country western to see rockabilly, a little bit of jazz in there, and a little bit of uh, rock every now and then. So. But isn't that the music of the devil? Well, see, I do it as a disclaimer to the young folks that it don't take no talent to do it. That's why I do it. You know, it's like a statement. But yeah, uh, it's a real versatile amp. And of course, Fender is all made in America. This particular amp is completely made in America. I mean, every tube, every, every stick of wood, every screw and every knob made right here in the USA. And it, it's really rugged. It's really fine sound of stuff. And then you got the 2x12 cabinet, I believe. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, it could take a lot more than that, but 2x12 is all I need. Yeah. yeah. And for your effects, I noticed that you, I'm sure you use in studio, you use a lot of different stuff and pedals and stuff, but what do you got on stage just for the ease of uh, traveling and stuff? What are you using tonight? I got an all-in-one uh, Vox Tone Lab LE, which has got your volume, pe the volume pedal or an expression pedal. I, I only use it for volume. And I do have a, a chorus sound set up. I got a clean tone. I got an overdrive uh, selector as well, and uh, tremolo. 
and uh, got a built-in tuner on it, so it's all in one. Everything it needs right there. It's real handy. There's a lot more I can do on it, but that's about what you use it for. Those yeah, those yeah. things. Just in my flex, yeah, gotcha. yeah. Talk to me about your new album that's coming out shortly. I got a brand new album coming out. It's a CD, of course. I still call them albums myself. And it's called Unknown Hanson Reloaded. And it will be released on the Uniform label in less than two weeks. I think the day's the 21st of June. So uh, who knows? It might even get up before July 1st. But it's an album I'm real proud of. I've worked on it a good while in between touring dates. And uh, I think it's kind of a little bit of a departure for me doing some other things other than just strictly country western. You know, I'm branching out a little bit. It's still country western, but it's a little bit a different shade of it for me, you know. And uh, I'm real excited about it. I think it's about the best thing I've ever done. We'll let the songs do the talking and see what the people think. They're the ultimate judge, you know. I can only imagine that. I'm sure there'll be chart toppers. That's all I write. I don't write no number twos. Number one, chart topping hits. Well, I bet that's it. <laughs> you know, I can't, I can't forget to mention over here you got your coffin case and the, the pistol. Can you talk to a little bit about that? Well, I always like to start my show with a bang, you know, and I like to fire my piece. It's a stress reliever for me. You know, some people uh, jog and exercise, squeeze a tennis ball or a vice grip. I like to shoot my gun calms me down. I don't ever fire it at nobody or nothing, but uh, I just like the sound of it, you know. And if you have any advice for people that play guitar, what would you, you know, whether they're just starting out or there have been people that have been playing for a long time, what kind of advice would you provide them since, you know, you are the chart topper? Uh, I don't like to give advice, really, because I don't like to take advice, you know, but I'll, I just encourage everybody to stick with it. Uh, don't let nobody tell you you can't do it because you can it's all up to you, you know. If it's something you want to do, ain't nobody going to stop you. It's, uh, and if you don't succeed, get back up and do it again. Keep on hitting it. Don't give up. What is the ideal warmer for you, you know, looking, looking for, you know, out there, possibly whether it's here or as Venus? What, what kind of warmers are you looking for? For me, the ideal warmer would be about five foot two tall, big breasts, I mean, you know, big as hell, and little waist, big butt, and a pretty face. Yeah, yeah, perfect warmer for me. Don't matter what color hairs you got, you know, brunette, blonde, red hat, don't matter. What happens if she's a hippie girl? Uh, if she's pretty, it don't matter neither. As long as she's pretty, yeah, yeah, that's it. I love all warmers, really. I mean, who don't? You know, what's not to love about warmers? They make the man's world go round. That's the truth. That's it. Well, Mr. Henson, I thank you for uh, taking the time to talk to us and show us what you guys are using on the tour. Thank you very much. Pleasure, Chris. Thank you. Thank you, Premier Guitar Magazine. I appreciate you. Uh, where they can find out you know, about your CD, you know, Squid Billy's volumes on DVD, or anything else, Unknown Henson related, where should they go online? UnknownHenson.com. I uh, do not forward the interstate, but I do have a website. That's unknownhanson.com. All right, there you go. That's the King Country Western Troubadour. I'm Chris Keys for PremierGuitar.com.